Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach and the host of the Take Your Life Back Today show. As an addiction recovery coach, I want to share something with you. Let me be crystal clear to leave an everlasting impact upon you. Imagine just being a buried alive. You're in a coffin, but you know you're not dead. You don't know how to get out of that coffin. You try lifting a lid, but the enormous weight upon the lid prevents you from opening. You try banging on the lid to hopefully unsettle the dirt. Maybe somebody might notice and start digging their way down towards you. This is what it's like to feel at the lowest point of alcohol and drug addiction. You know you need help. You know you can't do it on your own. You just don't know where to turn. In reality, there are people probably standing by your grave. You just think you're going to die. Usually, though, people don't think about death when they're um, <coughs> habitually abusing drugs and alcohol. In order to, um, to feed an addiction, you have to be great at repressing the fear of death. I often ask you, my audience, did it ever cross your mind while you're abusing drugs and alcohol that you might overdose and take something away? Excuse me one second. That you might take something away that God had given you called life. Let me just get this. With that, let me just say one last thing. Don't be like the person that I just spoke about that waited and waited until it was too late. Instead, pick up the phone and call me at 844-405-HELP and I promise I will help you take your life back. Sorry for the technical difficulties this morning. Let's talk about why you should always plan ahead. Think about it. Why should you plan ahead in life? A beautiful, I don't know, uh, campsite in uh, Shirley, New York, is where I went one time with my family. This was about a few years ago, and um, it, it was a great time that we had, and it took a lot of planning. Um, about maybe a year ago, I did a video about how sometimes you need reasons to just wing your plans. As I explained in that particular video, there are plenty of reasons just to go with the flow. But that doesn't mean that uh, there aren't also good reasons to plan ahead, which is always the most important, is to plan ahead. It's often the easiest to uncover the reasons why thinking of at the time when you didn't plan ahead, things didn't turn out the way hopefully you had hoped for or even planned. For the purpose of this particular video, which is geared towards uh, um, planning ahead, not uh, winging it, the planning refers to deciding in advance where you're going, how you're going to get there, and who you're going with. A big, pass, uh, a big piece of this particular video is to concentrate on the five reasons to plan ahead. Planning also includes getting any systems and tools in place for a smooth way and to help avoid problems down the road. Here are five reasons you should plan ahead in life and during travel. Number one reason is it's less stressful. Not knowing where you're going or what you're doing can be liberating, liberating, but it can also be stressful, especially if you're trying to work while on the road or stay on top of the responsibilities. And if you plan ahead by buying travel insurance, for example, or theft or loss uh, insurance, your uh, misfortunes won't be quite as much as a headache. It's also cheaper. If you're suddenly scrambling to get somewhere quickly, you're likely to have few options and spend more money. Plane tickets are usually, uh, but not always, cheaper the further in advance you buy them, my friends. And good, uh, good yet affordable accommodations tend to book up far in advance. It can also save you time and backtracking. Number three, if you know in advance that a visa is required for a certain country, uh, or that the pass through in the mountains is closed in the winter, you won't be scrambling to find an alternative approach uh, at the last minute. Number four is you can avoid missing out on things. Knowing what's happening when and committed to certain plans means you won't miss out. In uh, sometime in the ninth, uh, in 2014, uh, we were committed. No, it was more like 2012. We were committed to a family reunion. Making that plan far in advance allowed us to schedule uh, all our plans around the reunion so we wouldn't miss it. In contrast, not knowing where the major holiday uh, would have uh, uh, come up had we not known the reunion, uh, it probably would have meant that we wouldn't have had some sort of summer still. 
And number five, it allows you to be in the moment later. Right now, instead of being able to fully enjoy our last week on, uh, let's say we were at King's Dominion, Virginia, um, we were busy figuring out where we're headed next for this reunion. If we had planned ahead, we wouldn't need to worry about it. Now that could just made us relax a lot better. When you don't plan, I always say have a uh, plan of action for anything in life. And it's not just to travel, it's not just to go places. It's to pay your finances, it's where your relationship is going, it's where house chores, as little as house chores are going. Planning ahead and everything you do is super important. Especially in recovery, you always want to plan ahead 24 hours at a time. You don't need to plan ahead a week. One day at a time in recovery and you will find you will approach three, four, five years pretty quick. And you will find out that planning ahead with anything but the recovery way ahead will not only save you money, will save you time, but will save you headaches. With this, if you have any questions, call me at 844-405-HELP, and I promise you and I, together, will help you take your life back and may God bless you.